Welcome to a video from the In this video we're going to look at the out of box experience with Windows 11. So Windows 11 is coming soon and I thought I'd have a look at what it looks like when you do a clean install on Windows 11. So I've just uh, fired this up now, I've got through the initial setup and now this is the first out of box experience. This is the first experience you'll get when you get a new laptop. So the first thing I do is pick my region. and uh, I'll pick the right input method. I don't want to add a second language. Now, one thing you can see is actually is the name of this PC and this is something that I haven't seen. Was it available in Windows 10? I think it might be Windows 8 or 8.1 that had the option, certainly Windows 10 didn't ask you to name the PC. I'd much prefer to name this up front than getting that sort of weird desktop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 type uh, message on there. So uh, let's do that now and then we'll see what the next screen comes up as. So I actually did a reboot when it did that stage as well, so that's like a, an extra step. Normally, I think if you remember right with Windows 10, you just go straight through that initial phase and um, it takes you through the startup. So now I can set it up for personal or work. So if you set it up for personal, you sign in with a Microsoft account. If you do it for work, you can do it through your, your work account. So I'm going to set mine up for personal. Um, if you've got the home edition you, you don't get this option you just sign in with the Microsoft account there's no way of, of, of uh, skipping that part so I'm going to sign in now with my uh, Microsoft account and like I said you have to do that if you've got the home version and it's actually let, let me use my uh, authenticator app so I don't have to enter the password I can just authorize that through my authentic authenticator app I'm running on Android Right, so let's see what it does now. So now it's asking me how I want to set this device up. Now this is just something I've not seen before in Windows 10. Uh, where you can restore the settings from another device. So that's the Surface Go. Or I can set it up as a new. So I'm going to set it up as a new device. Um, but you can see the difference there. It's good, but it would set the settings and preferences. Um, based on that and um, actually looks like I could probably pick from another device as well yeah I can now we've got the privacy settings so it's whether we can use the uh, location data things for, for the maps and whether we can do find this device which you can use so that you can find it uh, so you can go to your Windows account and actually search for this device where it is and the diagnostic data which we can send through and the uh, inking and typing diagnostic data so I'm going to allow all these and the advertising ID as well I'm going to go into the merits of that for now okay so that's most of the stuff done now it asks me what experiences well I like maybe entertainment and creativity and let's say family oh. I haven't really seen what that does yet I've done it on a couple of devices but uh, let's see what it does on this one and now I can see whether we're using OneDrive or not. So I'm using OneDrive and all my devices to sync up my desktop and documents, pictures and all the other files. On. And I want that to be the same for this one, so I can say yes. So the good thing is it doesn't download everything, it just makes them available here to download from the cloud and sync back again. So now we're in the final part. This is familiar if you've seen Windows 10 before, where it goes through the initial... Uh, or the completion of the of the out of box experience. So they've got Windows 11 all up and running. And OneDrive uh, stuff is synced. Some recent documents I've got from OneNote are all synced. Um, I don't know whether this list of apps has changed. I can't see any difference. But you see, it's got the same wallpaper and theme as my um, as my main host PC that I'm running this on as well. So that's it, that's the out-of-box experience for Windows 11, looking very nice. And if you want to know how to run Windows 11 on a device like um, the Surface Laptop 2, which I'm doing as a virtual machine, so as a so it's not changing your main machine, I've got a video guide of that on our YouTube channel. And also, if you just want to try Windows 11, I'll show you how you can do that as well. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.